So today was a little bit of a side event from Hasbro PulseCon. They announced it on Hasbro PulseCon itself that on 10 27 or October 27, it's a throwback to the address of Hasbro's HQ. Uh, they would be doing a little, I guess we'll call it a DLC to the Hasbro PulseCon, revealing some more extra items and create some kind of interest after that of Hasbro PulseCon during the week. And so this was something available only to Hasbro Premium Plus members, and we checked it out and saw what was going on. And what did we have for Transformers this time around? So first, uh, we had the marketer Ben, and in some pre-recorded segment that they did, uh, and essentially he mentioned how, hey, uh, there's some Easter eggs in the background behind him, so take from that what you will, which showed a poster of Menasaur and a bunch of Titan class figures, pretty much teasing at both the commander class that will be uh, Motormaster to combine to make Menasaur and the Titan classes that we'll be getting in the future of that of Metroplex. Uh, they also talked about quickly how uh, Victory Saber, despite it being a HasLab item, will be shipped differently than that of Unicron. Unicron had a very plain kind of box with some kind of art on it. They said that Victory Saber will have something that's a little more in tune with that of retail product, but will be shipped in the traditional brown boxes that protect the HIOH or HIOC packaging. So... Look forward to a nice looking Victory Saber box for those that backed the Victory Saber on HasLab, which will be different. Uh, then they showed a little quickly a, uh, a stop motion that wasn't in the 86 movie theatrical showings. For people who saw the 86 movie, there was a bunch of th uh, stop motion little shorts that were shown at the beginning to you know give people something a little different this time around and extra. Uh, there was a fourth stop motion that was not included. They showed it this time around. Uh, pretty much had Quintus on saying that they created Unicron, I guess, sure, maybe in the War for Cybertron continuity, I don't know what they were getting at with that, maybe it's all a joke, who knows, um, gotta stick with that branding, man, you can't, you can't create confusion with, with, uh, with vague audiences that only know so much. But, uh, you know, a little short segment, kind of silly. Uh, the only thing that's probably cool to mention from it was the five different Quintesson voices were five different people from the Transformer world. Notable that of John Machida, a.k.a. Blur. Even Stan Bush had a voice there. So that was kind of funny to see uh, those guys doing the voices of the five Quintessons. And then the big reveal. So it's something that is available for pre-order right now as you're hearing my voice and then later on today for everyone else. The, right now it's up for pre-order for the premium members and at 8 p.m. Eastern time later today, uh, 5 p.m. Pacific for people on the West Coast, uh, we're going to be getting a new Gen Selects item. Now this is something we already knew about from the leaks and the big list, so we'll go through the whole list afterwards, but we got our first official look of lift ticket gen selects deluxe class lift ticket uh for people that are confused about that character uh it goes all the way back to the old diaclone history uh that old hoist mold what the hoist mold came from or the trail breaker mold came from it was repainted in that red and yellow kind of hot rod color scheme and it was just one of the many repaints that a lot of those Diaclone molds have. That color scheme, years later, was used for a Bacon exclusive, and it was called Lift Ticket. Primarily why it was called Lift Ticket was because Fun Pub also had the rights to G.I. Joe stuff, and so to do Hasbro a solid, they used a G.I. Joe character for the trademark, keep the trademark alive, and thus we had a deluxe class Bacon exclusive Lift Ticket that was using the old Thrilling 30 Generations hoist mold. Uh, originally, it was going to be Salvage was the trademark they were going to go with, was an homage to a... Uh, Transformers the movie character back in I think it was 2008 it was originally and then of course it was a power core combiner character in that same continuity and then the last time they used that trademark was 2015 for rescue bots but then it had since lapsed so we're gonna go with lift ticket again so it's gonna be lift ticket uh looks pretty good again it's no surprise it's the hoist earthrise mold and uh, the only thing that's really different this time around from previous versions is uh, it has wreckers written on the side so clearly it might either be a throwback to just hey you used to be part of the wreckers or maybe something that's going on with the current idw wrecker comic book that's out 
very, very soon. So maybe that character of Lift Ticket will make an appearance in that comic in some shape or form. So that's something just to keep in mind. They also showed that Lift Ticket, much like uh, Black Zarek, one of the other characters that are part of the Gen Selects line that they did acknowledge already at this point, will be a new kind of Gen Selects packaging while it still will be in those brown boxes. Each brown box will have some individual black and brown art. So it's going to start first with Black Zarek, and then they showed us Lift Ticket is also going to have something similar, just to kind of, I guess, mix it up, as opposed to kind of the boring art that most of the old Gen Select stuff had, with the exception of, I believe it was the... Uh, the 10th anniversary Transformers Prime version, they at least had something kind of cool going on there. Uh, still not like a re you know really nice art, but at least something that was different from all the other stuff. And that was it, pretty much. That was it that they pretty much showed us. So we got to see the robot mode and the alt mode of lift ticket to let us know that pre-orders for the premium people are going to be up now and 8 o'clock Eastern Standard, 5 o'clock Pacific for the people later on if they want to get in on that. Again, it's a Diaclone homage, might appear in the IDW uh, Wreckers-based comic book of the Circuit and Tread. So check that out. And chances are, now that this has appeared, it confirms more or less that list that we read a couple of weeks ago that had all the gen selects for 2022 which i'll reiterate right now had black Zarek the titan class it had the voyager class of cyclonus armada as they called it and now lift ticket is on that list too also was was now confirmed and the other two on that list was that of a deluxe class clampdown which is going to be a repaint of the obviously an earthrise kind of esque or earth mode-esque kind of red alert mold we have a DK3, which is clearly going to be a, a blue repaint of the Deluxe Earthrise Trailbreaker, which is a throwback to the old blue Diacron version of that mold, which had DK3 written on the box. And then we have Deluxe Guard, which we still don't really know what it's going to be. Could be a Quintesson member, could be something. A lot of different speculation on that one. But that's going to be all your uh, Gen Select stuff for 2022 that we know of at the moment so pretty hype stuff guys again if you're interested in this check out uh, hasbro pulse uh, if you want to pre-order it, it's going to start at 8 p.m eastern standard time pretty cool for all of us normies and for the premium people if you're listening to my voice right now you could go pre-order it right now uh pretty cool otherwise i dig it I, I like the color scheme very hot rod kind of color scheme but i also like that it's kind of a diaclone thing and it throws back to what Bacon first started and did with the uh, most wanted set all those years ago. So pretty awesome stuff. Let me know what you think, guys. Are you hyped about this? Obviously, we didn't get too much Transformer stuff during this. It's it's clearly a much smaller little stream that they're going to do. But they did say that there is going to be other Fan First Fridays in the future to stay tuned for that. Kind of the smart idea. It's kind of better to piece it out throughout uh, the next coming months to keep the interest high instead of dumping everything just in one stream and then people will forget about it as the days go. You have to understand how social media is. You know, something that might be interesting today, tomorrow feels like years ago. So that's just how the world works and uh, definitely stay tuned for another Fan First Friday and we'll get more information. Let me know what you think, guys. Pretty cool stuff.